Yo guys, my name is Jurocroft and welcome back to another epic Let's Build video where today we are taking our creative building into the nether. Now I have selected three of the top comments on my channel and combined them all into one in an attempt to create an evil industrial style fantasy nether base. I've just about found the perfect place to start building so give that like button some love and let's get down to business. Now this base has the potential to be the perfect nether cave, all it needs is some terraforming and we should be good to go. So at this point we need to fix things up a bit and make sure we have a nice template to work with as well as throw in some basic cave decoration. Now it did take several hours to get this done but eventually the cave was starting to look a lot less messy. Although the time lapse was short lived you guys can see just how much of an effort I made into trying to make this work. Now this is where things start to get a bit more interesting. So the first thing we need to build is the nether gate entrance. A lot of people really wanted to see what it would look like to enter the overworld portal. So I guess you can consider this a two in one video. Now the idea for this project was definitely a long shot as my main goal was to achieve something fantasy, industrial, evil, possibly steampunk but in my own style, complete with all those gears, fans, turbines, putting together a sort of factory style nether base. I know it's kind of crazy but let's just wait and see what I can put together because at the end of the day I've never built anything like this before. Well guys, things are really starting to shape up now, putting together this awesome looking crimson style portal. I really love the shades of red and purple, just makes it seem a lot more evil and they just seem to match. Apart from that, I'm gonna step up the game and throw in as much detail as possible. I've built a gate, added some gears on either side to make it seem like it can be opened and closed. And just like the overworld portal, I'm gonna try my very best to blend this portal into the surrounding terrain. Right guys, so far so good, making a significant amount of progress from flowing lava pipes, industrial style towers, gears and all sorts, making this project slowly come to life. But what I really love the most is just the vibrant red, purple and orange colours that make the build fit nicely into the nether style background. Well guys, I tell you what, this is definitely quite a view and there's a lot of space still available within this cave, so let's just see how far I can take this project. Right now this bridge could definitely use an upgrade, creating some simple archways and filling each individual pillar with some lava to light them up. I'm also planning on adding a few more industrial style features, one of which is this simple but nifty conveyor belt which is conveniently transporting goods across the factory. Now I've also included some mine tracks right across the bridge as well as adding some red stained glass to the lava to give it a bit more of a fiery effect. Now the most challenging part of this project though is definitely going to be the main headquarters, the center factory which is really going to make this build stand out. Sticking to the same industrial fantasy style look, I'll be adding giant cranes, lava pipes, gears and towers as well as two main entrances using double doors and cobblestone wall for handles. While I was in the middle of building the factory I thought it would be a great idea to also add some extraction fans across the ceiling. Finishing up with a bit of detail, a touch of red and we're pretty much good to go, at least having something extra across the cave ceiling. With all these towers producing thick black smoke plus the heat contained within this cave obviously wouldn't be realistically workable, so adding those massive extraction fans would be a great help. Now apart from adding several additional features, my main goal right now is to finish the main factory building. I have to say this is by far the biggest project I've ever undertaken in a single video. Tons of hours of work finally coming together. Right now I'm joining everything up using various different features. Once again from cooling fans, towers and yet again another conveyor belt but this time using a hook and iron bars. 
Right guys, it is time to finish touching up on the main building. I could go on this building rampage forever, but I think I've had you guys waiting long enough for today's video. People say I set my goals way too low, so I'm going to go absolutely crazy today and set today's goal at 15,000 likes. And I think that it's ridiculously high, but let's just see how it goes. And finally, the world will also be available for those of you who supported the channel through my website and it will also be included in the USB drive. So I think you guys know what time it is, so let's roll the cinematic. So come then, you heroes. Come in all your power and glory. For in the final hour, all must serve the one true king. Well, it looks like all I have to say is a big thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. This is Jerocraft over and out. <laughs>